Hi guys, welcome back to Good Girl Gone Fat TV. This is Simone here, and as you can see from the title, this is my flawless, long-lasting, all-day foundation routine. Um, I would say this is like an everyday face routine, but I don't do my foundation this amazing every day. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. now for my job, so yeah, I do the minimum. But in a realistic world, this is what I would do every day. Um, if you have oily skin especially, this is going to be helpful for a lot of people. I have combination skin, but I'm very oily in my T-zone and forehead, my T-zone area, especially on my nose and forehead, those, that is your T-zone, but like those areas are so oily. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I get this flawless foundation routine, um, check it out. It is going to be, um, a lot edited out. I didn't do my eyebrows in this video or my eye, I didn't do any, my eyeshadow or my eyelashes or my eyebrows in this look um, on camera but if you want to see how I got this um, comment and let me know alright so yeah stay tuned and keep watching okay so the first thing I do is I moisturize my face with this Clinique D dramatically different moisturizing gel and I squirt it into my hand and I kind of rub it together I'm gonna rub this into my face. And I start on my cheeks because, like I said, that's where I'm most oily. So that's where I want to get most of the product. And then I work my way onto my forehead. And as you can see, I already did my eye makeup to save time. So pat that and rub it into my skin and it like it's so it makes my face feel so soft and so and it already helps the look of my face my skin too So, yes, so, moisturize with that. Then the next thing I do after the moisturizer has set into my face, I use this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector Primer, and I love this primer. I just got it like, recently, and then I squirt it onto my two fingers and a little bit goes a long way with this I'm gonna use like about that much and when I say this is gonna make your skin feel so matte and so smooth I really only apply most of it into my t-zone so I start on my nose and you rub it together before you put it on your face I bring it up rub it into my forehead it's translucent so you can't see it but I'm still rubbing and then the remaining product that's on my fingers sometimes I might have to take a little bit more I'd like dab into my face And what I will say is, like, I've been talking to a lot of people lately who, like, say that their makeup doesn't last all day or their foundation doesn't last all day. But priming your face is honestly the key to making your foundation last all day. No matter what foundation I use, I can use be using my um, Maybelline or my Lancome or my MAC foundation. All my foundations look a lot better and last a lot longer if I prime my face. So... That's the most important step to getting your foundation flawless and lasting all day. So the next thing, the next thing I do to get my foundation flawless um, is I use this Makeup Forever um, high definition powder, and it is a white but translucent powder. And um, I use a powder brush, 
and I like to take, take some from the top you can see and I like wipe the powder and it's, this helps set this helps set my primer And this is like a finishing powder and I do use it before and after my foundation and as you can see I'm kind of getting like some white like powder powdery texture on my nose but that usually doesn't bother how my foundation applies foundation applies sorry I'm getting like this random like congestion that wasn't here before I started recording this video so sorry so yeah, I will only recommend this step if you do have um, oily skin and your foundation moves a lot like it does on me. Um, if you have dry skin, I would just apply the powder after my foundation and after like I'm done with that. So the next thing I'm going to use is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color in Coconut 355. And I'm going to apply this next. So I, I moisturize, primed, and set my primer. And then I'm going to, oops, crap, okay, I think I've got too much. But I, I'm going to put that on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to use my wet or damp beauty blender, and I'm going to apply my foundation. And I start in the middle of the face, my face, and I work my way out. So, kind of like how I apply my primer. Also what the um, powder in the primer does is kind of helps eliminate pores or uh, eliminate the appearance of pores rather. So you're going to have pores in your face regardless. And that's how your foundation is going to look a lot smoother because you're putting, it's kind of covering your pores so the makeup can't set in your face. Like it's on your face but it's not deep in your skin. Alright, for some reason my camera just hates me lately. So, the end of my foundation part kind of cut off. But, all I was doing was dabbing out. I'm so, at, I'm so mad. So, the end was just me finishing dabbing um, the foundation into my face. And then after that, I, um, I just moved on to my highlight, which is just using this LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And applied it under my eyes down my bridge of my nose, right in my cupid's bow, on my chin, and then in my forehead. Yeah, I'm so mad. So the next thing I'm going to do is use this NYX Contour Palette. I know it got bad reviews. I just want to try it out for myself. If I don't like it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just so upset right now, guys. Sorry. Every time I record a video, this happens. That's why I haven't been uploading lately because all of my videos have been just cutting off in the middle. And, yeah. Shades. This is the contour shade. This is supposed to be the highlight shade, but it's too close to my skin tone, so I don't know what that is. And then this is a, a, cream, a cream highlight shade. I probably won't use that today, but I'll use it one day. So I'm just going to take this contour brush from BH Cosmetics 127 contour brush and I'm just going to dab a little bit. Actually no, I'm going to take a lot. I'm going to take a lot. That's how we 
recreate this what I would recommend is using a setting spray that is not matte like um something that's more dewy or I would use um the MAC fix plus spray and it kind of like it's not a setting spray but it'll like moisturize your face without moving your makeup and it'll just like refresh your face but since my face is oily and my face doesn't feel too dry right now um I'm lying I'm gonna take some more of this powder not a lot though since I already have a lot of powder on my face and you don't want to just add on product. Um, I'm just going to kind of lightly put some more uh, around my face. Like really just like that fast. I'm just like all over the place right now. Sorry. But really like that fast. Nothing else. And then I'm going to take this setting spray and spray it on my face. And, and that's how I get my flawless, long-lasting foundation for the day. It's really simple. Um, the key steps are moisturizing with, with a moisturizer, priming with the primer. Um, like I said, I have oily skin, so I chose this Ever Matte um, primer. And then, if you do have oily skin and your makeup tends to move, I use I like to set it with a, a high-definition setting powder, translucent. So. Those three, and then at the end, you use your setting spray. This is the NYX, the NYX matte finish long lasting setting spray, and that's the end step. So, yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and tell a friend to check out Good Girl Gone Fab TV. Thanks. Thank you.